Good morning everyone. I have another 7AFE here. I've been getting a lot of questions on the specifics of how to set the timing. So I decided to do another video changing the timing belt today on a 1994 Toyota Corolla 1.8 liter 7AFE. And what you want to do first is take all the spark plugs out and expose the timing belt move the front engine cover and then you want to turn the harmonic balancer with a screw until the cams on top and the crank on the bottom are aligned. The way you do that is if you look here there's a little notch right here on the top so if you can see that little notch right on top see if I can point to it right there there's a notch on the head and then there's a little hole right here on this front sprocket the large sprocket that the timing belt goes around look at it from the front side those two should line up on top okay see that hole it should line up with that notch the other thing to double check yourself is you want to make sure that the number one uh, spark plug location is being pointed to by the rotor. So what I've done is I've turned the engine <clears throat> until the rotor here is pointing to number one. I've marked it right here on this little piece of wire so that you can see how the rotor cap lines up with that rotor location. This is the rotor cap, and I've marked the number one spark plug location on the cap with white paint, and I've also colored the number one that is painted on the cap. So if I put the cap on, you can see it's going to correspond to this location that the rotor is currently pointing to, and I just painted that wire so that you can still see that location once the cap is in place. So here goes the cap. So you can see the white paint on the tape that covered the wire and the white paint on that spark plug location on the rotor cap are aligned. So the cam is correct. Now let's go down and check the crank location. Take that off and there it is. That's pointing to number one location. You want that to stay there. We're going to go down and look at the bottom side. So down we go. I've already taken everything on loose to make this video faster. I put this, here we go, put this bolt in like that all the way in so that I can turn the engine and I turn it with my, uh, my ratchet here. It's actually a 14 millimeter. I just turn the rat, turn it clockwise only so that you have tension on the side that matters in terms of the top timing. Okay, so I'm going to take this bolt out. I put some grease on the inside of that harmonic balancer so that it slides off easier and that's just a little tip so I just wiggle it a little and it just slides off real easy and here I've marked the notch there's a notch right here I don't know if you can see that right on the harmonic balancer see if I can see that notch, it's pretty, pretty bright, I turn this light down but there's a notch there and that notch lines up with 10 before top dead center on the timing cover. So right there, number 10 before top dead center. There we go. I've marked that with white paint as well. Okay. So those should, should line up. So I put this on. I just pre-fit it. I don't need to screw it down or anything. I just put that down like that. 
and I slide this on and then find the keyway, just wiggle it a little bit and it slides right on and then you can see that lines up with the timing cover and you can look it on top it also lines up you can see that white mark and that lines up with the harmonic balancer and other than that you just take your timing belt off make sure you don't move anything double check it once it's on that everything still lines up and your engine should be timed correctly I hope this helps.